Hello YouTube and welcome back to Mr. Pinguino's Perilous Plays. That's where I post that. Post as I'm gonna get. I actually just had a tiny, tiny panic attack because the music of this game started playing. Now this game is a demo of a game made in RPG Maker, so it's gonna be one of one of those games. But it looked pretty good, and uh, the comments seemed pretty good. I think this game isn't actually new, this game is from this year, but it's not from like the past couple weeks, like the last few games were. Um, also this game, I don't know if you saw the dis disclaimer, it's gonna have violence and gore, so this is gonna be the actual first one that's been like, scary. Like, this is gonna be a scur game. Now it says to play in the dark, but, um, skip credits. No? I don't wanna skip anything. Is it gonna be like a video explaining the plot? Okay, cool. So I'll just take this moment to explain that uh, it's about someone, I think a girl, who wakes up and it's in a dark place. That's pretty much all the information I have. Other than that, it's RPG Maker, it's Scurry, and it's a demo. So this is not a full game, but it, I think it should be decently length. Um, this is only one episode of the Halloween Perilous Plays that I'm doing, and so if it ends up being really long, I'll be I'll be skipping around with the editing, or it'll be like a half hour long episode. Who knows? I gave myself an hour to record it, so we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited! You made it! I thought you wouldn't come! I'm sure you're gonna like the story. Well, tonight's story tells us about an unfortunate chain of events. All orbiting a certain high schooler. Is that how you spell sneeze sounds? Hakachu? Is that is that a Japanese thing? Am I am I missing something here? I definitely thought it was just achu, and I'm pretty sure it's like that in like even the worst localized games that I've played. Sorry, the girl's name is Claire. She's special. I should say that in this case, it wasn't a good thing. But enough intro. Let's begin, shall we? This one's called Pitch Black. I think this person has made other RPG horror games. This is pretty pretty well done so far. I mean, except for the the paint at first, but I think that's supposed to be like kids' drawings. So I think it's I think it I think it's a okay. It fits in with the plot. Class representative, enlighten me. I'm only gonna get to do the, the 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 voice trick that I learned via Game Grumps. I'm a little bit mumblier for the Halloween episodes, but I'm 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 trying to hope that plays into like the the spookiness of it. What's with her hair? Is she wearing like headgear or oh, that's probably just the light like reflecting on her hair, like giving her a white glow. That's really cool. They got like background talking noises. Okay, uh, black-haired student. I, is that me? Uh, why in the world have we decided? Wait, 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 why in the world haven't we decided what to do yet? I represent the class. I won't make that decision by myself. I've been asking everyone about it, and you can guess how that went. Mako, the festival? Yes, I'm sure I'll have to answer the t to the student council soon. Yeah, sucks to be you. Huh? How come the boys are students and the girls are girls? It's, it's a little bit weird. We're all at fault here, jackass. Dude, what's your problem? What's your damage? You're the problem. Don't worry about me. Oh, that's the girl. Don't worry about me. I'll manage. By the way, guys. They're both jerks. Have you heard the rumors? <gasps> Spooky. Uh, oh yeah. It's pretty difficult not to hear about it. It's crazy. It's cry cry. What rumors? As clueless as ever, Mako. And cute. A a a. Well. There are rumors going around about a demon kidnapping people. They say it stalks you 
and takes you straight to hell. Needless to say, everyone's freaking out. I've heard it- I've heard it kills you right away and eats your soul. There are multiple stories, but there's something that never changes. Once gone, you're gone for good. Oh, oh, the, the tan-haired person. Have you seen the news lately? There are four missing. People say those are its victims. Even Aki disappeared. What? Aki's not missing. He is... Uh, Hikikomori. Hikikomori. I, I, don't, I don't do words. Oh, that explains. And three missing. Learn. Just have a little seizure, I guess. <laughs> oh, Mako. You don't need to worry. Really? Why? You see, people say it cannot get you if you're accompanied by someone. You walk home with your little brother, so you're safe. You could have started from there. <laughs> oh, I, t I, t I called it. Ayumi, are you telling your ghost stories again? You, you say it like it's the only thing I do. That's true. Wait, that might have been the wrong voice. <laughs> well, calm down. What are we going to do about the festival? Two days, guys. Two days. Well, about that. Okay, everyone. Back to your seats. I don't know if it was male or female. Okay, no, it's just, I did a voice. Fe I still don't know if it's male or female. It doesn't matter. Teachers are teachers. Uh, what was I? Akagi-chan? Akagi-chan? Akagi-chan! That's the sound my parents' grandfather clock makes that was in the background there. Yes? Someone's looking for you. Coming. Thanks. She's just asleep in class? What a tool. So, how was it? It was awfully difficult. But I did well. All thanks to you. Thank you, Faye. Faye? 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 Well... Study sessions do work. I would be helpless without you. That's not true. You just lack a little bit of concentration. Don't give me all the credit. You worked hard as well. Maybe. Um, uh, may maybe. Let's go then. We're running out of break time. Yep. Where's me? Where's Mako? I don't know who me is anymore. I mean, they set it up as O. Claire? Mm. Is everything okay? Yes! I just felt weird all of a sudden. Weird? Yeah. That doesn't sound good. Maybe you're getting sick. Let me check. On um, you just have magical sickness checking powers? Oh, she's touching my forehead. That's pretty cool. That's pretty well animated. Well, no fever. Even so, let's get to the infirmary. Just to make sure. Don't worry, I'm okay. It was just for a moment. Am I done? Oh, uh, no, no. Mm, are you sure? Yep. Alright, maybe it's hunger kicking in. Let's go get lunch. Maybe that'll help. Let's go. This is a lot of dialogue. When do I get to a puzzle? Come on, anything happening. This is just typical of RPGs in general, but it's- Oh, it's gonna teach me how to get to things with arrows. I feel like my whole register is higher because I'm doing girl voices. Use arrow keys to move Z to accept X back to climb. Shift fast forward through text, but be careful. Use an item, press A. You can talk to people to find out more of the backstory or follow the arrows to continue the main story. Main story! This is an early demo, so many things will change in the final release. Picture gallery updated. Oh. Oh. This is long. This is long. Okay, there we go. 
Took me a while to figure out how to use chairs. How are you feeling now? I'm fine. It was hunger after all. Faye, I feel like I'm always worrying you. I'm sorry. It's not like that. You know you have worry because I care about you. You're very important to me. Besides, worrying is something that comes with friendship. You can't just stop doing it. Yeah, but- No buts. None. It's sad. What is? Graduation. I miss- I'll miss all of this. Wait, I'm, aren't I like a second year or something? I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll miss you too, senpai! My weird feeling. It was that, right? Yes. I'm sorry, I can't help with that. I wish I could. Don't worry, don't worry. It's never hurt me before. Alright. Okay. Oh god, it's the blue-haired guy! Mr. President. Ryota? What's wrong? I came to tell you all about... I came to tell you something about the meeting today. It may no longer be expected. Why? Whoa, why? Why? There are some classes that you haven't decided... I haven't decided what to do yet. How's that? I should have been more strict. I'm sure it's not your fault. You did a great job. It's those lady idiots of 1A. Their laziness is spreading to other classes. That's the reason why we'll have to stay longer. We'll have to help them and other classes decide. I see. We'll let, we let our guard down. Do you think? Hmm. Never mind. Well, that's it. I'll go now. Gotta check those slackers of 1A. President Akari... Akagari... Kun? Akagagakakuki... Kun? What time is it? Oh, break is almost over. Are we done? Yep. When do I get kidnapped? Ooh, dark and spooky alleyway. That's where bad things happen to people. Uh, like a bicyclist? I don't know. What was that? That was weird. Oh, she dropped her books. That's what's on the ground. I thought someone hit her in the head with a rock or something, which would have been way worse. Oh, and she's gone. But her books are still there. How convenient. That way they should unite that. that they, 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 missing. Missing. Ah, Claire. Please don't cry. I'm here with you. Claire, my dear, I will always be with you. Everything's going to be just fine. Whenever you are scared, remember I'm by your side. That's probably supposed to be Faye talking, but I don't know. Looked like a godlike figure. <sighs> oh god, I yawned at the same time she did. It's so dark. It's so dark. Did I pass out in the alley? I can't remember. This doesn't feel outdoors at all. Wait, my cell phone. Don't light it. Oh, okay. Weird. This, this isn't the alley. This can't be! How did I get here? That's pretty smart, actually, trying to make a phone call. You don't get signal in hell! I don't like dark places! It's so cold! If it's so cold, you should move! Actually, no, let's do a second one. A doll? Some books? More dolls? More- Oh, that was creepy. There's a doll sitting on the floor. It looks well made, and it's pretty clean in contrast with the room. Take it? Yes, it's mine now. Uh, uh. <laughs> Picture gallery updated. The door. These boxes contain many kinds of dolls. Alright. Oh, look, it's a safe spot. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. <laughs> I did not see that coming. So this is really cool. It's, it's similar to Merc in that the darkness is hiding things that you need to be careful of. I need to find another way around. Hmm. Oh, I thought this was the door I came from. Never mind. What was that? I, I, you lied to me! You lied to me, game! You said there wasn't any jump scares, but that was a jump scare if ever I've heard one. Yes, yes. Um, 
So things are always like level one, level two, that sort of stuff, right? Like that's not optional in RPG Maker. Um, I'm guessing. Who's there? He left. Well, time to ignore that. What the hell? I am an artist. I can say I have a gift. All of my paintings are around here. They're like parts of me. Unfortunately, I lost my paintbrush some time ago. I think I lost this in the dining room. Are you in the wall? That's pretty weird, dude. Maybe you are the wall? Oh, hey, look at that. There's a key on the floor. Picked up library key. It's fixed in place. Then why even have the door there? I'm not controlling her right now. Where did that person go? So there's a thing over there. Oh, I can I can move boxes. Then I block the door. Oh, the trap door's locked. I thought it was gonna fall out from under me. That would have been spooky. So I don't know how to get to that door back there, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. None. That's creepy. Why do the dolls get thrown in beds? It's fixed in place, but I want the thing from on top. I needed the thing! It's shiny. I'm watching you, dolls. I'm watching you. Oh no. It's the ceiling is gross and spidery. Oh. And it's hiding the, the ground, so I can't see anything. A dining table. Okay. I'm just gonna go this way then. Whoa! It made me feel gross. Oh, that's just another room, a dining room, or a dining room. Okay. Statue head, that's cool. There's something there. How do you get to it? Oh, you can interact with the curtains. Oh, okay. So let's check these curtains. Check these curtains. Is that it? I mean, this is still a curtains, right? Curtains. Oh, hello. Oh, there's another doll. Can I pick it? Oh, uh, no. I got the paintbrush. Sweet. So now we're good to go, right? I mean, that's just the paintbrush. And I'm done. Oh. Do I have to, like, use it on you? Give him the paintbrush? Yes. Here's your paintbrush. Thank you. Sadly, I have nothing physical to give you for your trouble. I can, however, give you a piece of advice. Due to the nature of the space we are in, some things might appear or disappear if in contact with your light. Remove it and you might see hidden objects or make some disappear. You can now turn your light on and off with S. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad I didn't give up on that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. See, there's another statue and I can move it. Very, very slowly. Something moved. Alright, so this is like um, the RPG version of Merc that we were playing. That's really cool. I, I, I like this sort of gameplay. It's all bloated. It's like it's being pushed from behind. The dolls disappear if you turn your light off. That's freaky as hell. 
oh, I can use this to go get the, uh, the thing on top of the bookshelf. All this is all starting to come together. There's just that one thing. I didn't know I could interact with the curtains. Everything, ever since then, things have been coming together real nicely. Got a matchbox. Hmm? All right, let's get out of here. Keep the lights on so the dolls stay fixed in place. I'm gonna go save real quick. Use mat. Can I burn down the vines? Uh, where is the is, 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 uh, matchbox? Burn the vines? Yes, done. I am good at puzzles. I understand. Ooh, you knock that vase off. What's that sound? That's not a good noise. Oh, I don't want to turn off the light. Only one of them disappears. This one disappears. I love to draw, but everyone is always messing up my drawings. But it's okay, I can take it. That was weird. Is there a reason for this room? I mean... Yeah, pretty ominous there. There was nothing in there. That was weird. Anything I can do in here with the lights off? Nope. The spider's moving. I repeat it. Oh, I died. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay. Is it gonna is it gonna restart? Is that an option? Can I just start over? Can I can I can I load? Continue? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now we know that's gonna happen. The spider is on the move. I repeat, the spider is on the move. Damn, it got me. Oh, there's an item. Okay. Kevin has a childlike drawing on the window. Okay, the only reason I know how to do that is because I looked it up. That was really obtuse. It didn't tell me it was dirty or anything. It just said, would you like to clean it? I guess. That's it. And now we get an item. So I had to look up what was going on. Oh, can I use my handkerchief on it? Yes, pick up the glass with the handkerchief. Okay, yeah, so the spider was a false lead. Um, I just need to learn more about it before you can progress through that area. So, that's a thing. Uh, broken glass. Use on the painting. Stab! Ooh, that's... What are you? Why do you have eyes? It's pitch black in there. I can feel a cold breeze coming from inside. Is this the exit? Ooh, do I enter? Ooh, do I enter? This is actually where I'm going to leave you guys. I am all out of time for playing this. It looks like it's really long. Like, this is a demo, but it's a pretty close to full release demo, so there's a lot of it here to explore. It's really fun if you have any interest in indie horror RPG maker style games. It seems like it's a pretty good one if it's a little bit obtuse at times. Like cleaning the cabinet, I wouldn't have known that without a guide. And, um, what was it? The the curtains, I, I wandered around for like 15 minutes before I figured out that you can interact with the curtains. So I guess it's just, that's an RPG maker thing, is interact with everything. This is actually the first RPG maker that I played myself. I have watched a lot of other ones, but this is the first one that was me. Um, so yeah, it was fun. I liked it. It was really spooky, and there weren't any, like, things flashing on the screen, which is, I guess, what they would call jump scares, but there was, like, things falling, there was creepy noises, the music has been uh, sufficiently creepy, and also there's a giant spider, so it receives an A-plus for creepiness from me. Um, if you guys want to try it out for yourself, I'm going to leave the game link down in the description. Go check it out. And I will check you guys tomorrow, Friday, at 6 p.m. for another episode of Penguino Perilous Plays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you then.